Hey guys, welcome to my link tutorial series Amripan Dutto. This is the first part of this tutorial. Today I am going to discuss about introducing link. So, link stands for language integrated query. Link is a uniform programming model for any kind of data. Link enables you to query and manipulate data with a consistent model that is independent from data sources. Link is just another tool for embedding SQL queries into code. And link is yet another data abstraction layer. What is link? Link is a programming model that introduces queries as a first class concept into any Microsoft.NET framework language. Link provides a methodology that simplifies and unifies the implementation of any kind of data access. Why do we need link? Today, data managed by a program can originate from various data sources like from an array, an object, an XML document, a database, a text file, a registry key, an email message, simple object access protocol or swap, Microsoft Excel file and so on. So, each data source has its own specific data access model. When you have to query a database, you typically use SQL. You navigate XML data by using the document object model or DOM or XPath or XQuery. You iterate an array and build algorithms to navigate an object graph. You use a specific application programming interface, I mean APIs, to access other data sources such as an Excel file, an email message or the Windows registry. In the end, you use different programming models to access different data sources. Link addresses these issues by offering a uniform way to access and manage data without forcing the application of a one-size-fits-all model. Link makes use of common capabilities in the operations in different data models instead of flattening uh, the different structures between them. In other words, by using link, you keep existing heterogeneous data structures such as classes or tables, but you get a uniform syntax to query all these data types regardless of their physical representation. In this series of tutorials, we will go through the link to objects, link to edu.net, which is link to SQL, link to dataset, link to entities and link to XML and finally p-link which is parallel link. Here is a simple example you can see bar query equal from c in customers where c dot country equal usa select c name. This query returns a list of strings I mean a list of customer name. So um, let's take a look in a Visual Studio. All right, new project, console application, part one. Okay. All right. So first of all, we need to create a class which is customer. So class. Customer, let's say integer ID name. Oops, this is data type string name again a string country. Then let's say integer age. date time birth date and so on so this is a customer class first we need to create a list of customers 
let's say customers equal new list of customers so equal I mean new customers in this case we have list of customers so new customer let's say ID one name equal let's say Will Smith country equal let's say USA age 37 and birth date equal new date time 1978 day 10 so and we have another customer is ID equal to name equal let's say Craig show country equal USA age let's say 40 birth date equal new date time 1975 month 11 and day 22 and let's say we have another customer id equal 3 name equal steep nole country equal let's say italy Ace thirty five birth date equal new date time let's say nineteen ninety one December thirty first. So this is this is the list of customer. Now we need to query from this customer list. Right, bar let's say query result equal from C in customers where C dot country equal USA select c dot name now we need to print all the values bar let's say name in query result console write let's say in this case you can use this name that's it because we are selecting only the name now we can build the project so you can run without debugging as you can see the output is Will Smith and Craig Shaw because both of this um, customer country name is USA now let's say I wanna find only the customers who are from Italy Control F5 you can see that Steve Nolle so this is a simple query I mean this is a link query as you can see this is a you know bit similar with SQL query I will go through this query in the next 
series of tutorials so don't worry about the link query thank you very much for watching this tutorial and see you soon in the next tutorials till then bye